I'm tired of seeing fake eyebrows. You should have learned from Yogi Bhajan, the real, the real tantric yoga guy, Bhajan, who made kettle chips, that your eyebrows are representations of, uh, well, actually, your eyelashes are the fifth wind. You shouldn't be putting fake eyelashes on. And I've noticed that a lot of people are, are stenciling in their eyebrows. They all look the same. That is not the way. I took a professional course. I wanted to be like a makeup artist for SCTV, like that kind, but there's no more SCTV for a million years. So I wanted to do that kind of thing with Rick Moranis and Catherine O'Hara, but I was like a, a million years too late. I was very good at uh, telling the difference between things. But if you were to change someone's eyebrows, like plastic them over, and change their eyebrows, you can actually disguise them completely. Because your own eyebrows, you should never change the shape of your eyebrows. That changes everything. But everybody is redoing their eyebrows to all look like uh, the same headlights. You know how the headlights are like angry bug antenna? Um, you are not, you have nothing to do with yoga either. Any of you yoga people who change your appearance, you are not yoga. Uh, because yoga means the union between the subconscious and the conscious, or the body and the mind. You have nothing to do with it because you're disrespecting your body. You are changing your body instead of enhancing what you really are, the truth. You have nothing to do with truth. So yoga, if it's not truth, it ain't yoga neither. Are you same with? The way, the, tr the, the, the Tao is called the way. Excuse me, I'm yelling now. I'm so tired of seeing fake eyebrows. Find your real eyebrows. I want to know what your real eyebrows are shaped. It's like, it's like, would you like to marry someone and have babies with a man who you found out that he's got a honker like Jimmy Durante and then all your kids have Jimmy Durante noses, but he never told you he got a nose job? Like, this is, I've seen this. I've, I've heard of people faking their way through life. And if you don't stop faking yourself, you're never going to have freedom. Because freedom starts within you. It's, it starts with a desire to, to love yourself enough. And you don't love yourself. You're kidding yourself if you all have those stupid ringlet hairstyles. And, and, and you're supposed you're, you're, you, yeah, you think you've gone from the hair straightening, but you've gone from the frying pan into the fire because you're still using tech on your hair. You're still using product. You're feeding the industry. Stop being hypocrites. Or actually, you're not even hypocrites. Stop being fools. You know, there was a girl I knew who is a good makeup artist in New York City. She said that no, no man will even talk to you or look at you if you didn't have straightened hair. She had naturally curly hair, or wavy, wavy. And isn't it funny? Now, it's like everybody's got the same stupid waves, even though they're nowhere near a beach. Can't you see this? Can't you nip this in the bud, people? How come none of you can nip it in the bud? And those bud nippers, it's time to nip everyone else in the bud, because... I'm not going to be swept up by a wave of garbage. We have got the wrong people, the wrong waves and currents. The currents are in charge of everything. Stop it. <laughs>